Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, your fellow Reich's baby, and let's continue playing as a German Reich. So this is the episode where we will try to invade the UK. Now, I've played a ahead of time, just a little bit, maybe like a week or so, just because I wanted to make sure that these divisions that we used to take out Switzerland have mostly made it back up to their respective spots in the ports, so that when we do successfully invade, I can get my infantry over to basically Scotland as fast as possible, or I guess it's Northern England, I suppose. Northern England, yes. Uh, so that I can get my infantry in here to form a defensive line as the tanks push forward, th upward through Scotland, and then take them all out, and then push with my tanks down south through the rest of England, Wales, and Cornwall. That is my goal. So, uh, between this episode and the last, I also made the Italians give me some of their territory that they helped conquer from the French. Now, I stopped playing just for about a week, or I guess you could say I stopped letting time go on because I got the Triumph in France event. So, our victory in France is nearly complete. The French government has asked for an armistice, and our diplomats have, have prepared terms which they have agreed to. They will retain control of southern France while we are free to occupy the rest. I will establish Vichy France. And here we shall maybe go and... Ah, oh, I gotta love the lag. The lag is the best part of the game. There we go. Nation Francais declared war on the Free French. Now, unfortunately, Italy obviously didn't get all the territory it should have gotten, but that's alright with me. Also, <clears throat> before I forget, yes, I will form the Reichskommissariats. It's just right now, I really want to focus on invading the UK. <clears throat> Excuse me. Really want to focus on invading the United Kingdom. And, uh, yeah, that's my biggest goal. Once the UK is capitulated, then I'll form the Reichskommissariats, as well as Reichskommissariats Serbian. Just to make sure that the Serbs don't ever rise up against us. And yes, I have coffee here, so one moment. Mmm, that's hot. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, apparently, Hungary is not paying their licenses. Or our license we give to them, but they're not paying us for it. You know, <clears throat> normally I would not be okay with this, but since they're in a war with us, and they are contributing to the war effort very well, actually, I'm going to be okay with that. I don't really care. Uh, let's see, available war goal against the Union of Greece. Um, I don't need to do that since you are already our puppet, so whatever. And do we have any update equipment production? No. Alright, so... Oh, actually, naval bombers. Yes, we do. Good. <clears throat> so, here's the deal. Uh, I'm going to try to invade. This is not going to go very well, I'm pretty sure. Just because this is very tricky. Because, actually, the Allies, or at least the UK, has a major uh, navy here. That includes two carriers, better than what we have. And without an extreme amount of planes here. I mean, we have a pretty decent amount helping us with close air support or air superiority, interception, naval strike, and port strikes. We might not make it. I'm assuming we're going to lose at least a few divisions in the water and then maybe a few when we reach the shores of the UK. Oh boy. So, we apparently have the light last flight of Rudolf Hess, the airship Hindenburg, which had been moored in Germany since the beginning of hostilities, met with a dramatic end today when it exploded over Scotland. Hmm. <clears throat> It appears to have been commandeered by Deputy Führer Rudolf Hess, who managed to fly it alone across the North Sea on a personal mission to negotiate peace with Britain. This is a source of some serious conspiracy theories, and I love reading those conspiracy theories. British radar stations had no trouble detecting the massive aircraft, and when several Royal Air Force wings were immediately directed toward its position. When the Hindenburg failed to respond over the radio, they opened fire. He parachuted to safety and has now been imprisoned in the Tower of London. But why? Oh, oh, it's like an American battleship? Oh, it's an early one, but dang. Oh, they have four carriers there. Jesus. That might have been cruisers, actu cruisers actually. All right. Well, it looks like my Navy, my king of the Navy. Oh, wait, before we do that, let's make sure that actually this is the Tirpitz. It's our best ship right now with all of its stats. Uh, it's not very fast, but it has good heavy attack, good, pretty good heavy piercing. Armor is pretty good, especially compared to what the British have. And let's do that. So, making this the pride of the fleet, instead of this heavy cruiser, that's not very great. It costs us some political power, which is fine. we got plenty enough. We get more war support, or I guess, technically, we get the same amount of war support. But we get more ship experience gain and half the chance to receive critical hits. And when we get a penalty for when it gets sunk, we lose 10% war support. That's fine with me. I don't want to lose this battleship. It's basically the best battleship we got. 
Ah, oh, let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Into the waters. We do have a few extra infantry divisions that I'm going to send in immediately once we get a port. Come on, don't get intercepted. This is the first time I'm actually trying this. Uh, this isn't like attempt two or three that you have not seen. Because if it doesn't go successfully, I will not show you this. But it looks like we're going okay so far. Come on. Come on. Oh, uh-oh. We got some enemy planes. They got. We really got some enemy planes. <gasps> we did it. Great. Okay, I keep pressing buttons here. Uh, let's see. Cool. You know what? I don't even really care. Just send, like, I just need one army here. Just one entire massive army to come this way. And now for you guys, I need you to... Uh, I guess technically that's okay. Just form a line between here, take the airfield, and Newcastle. I want you to come down here, and I want you to come right here. That's all I need. And before we move on, let's make sure we beef up Newcastle as much as we can, as well as the forts around here. Radar? Uh, let's do that. I gotta maximize my chance of survival here. Absolutely have to. Good. Good. And we split the UK up. Awesome. Uh, whoops. Wrong way to look around. The tanks will face north as the infantry are moving in. Heinz Guderian. Great job. I'm surprised that was, there's not that much resistance. Well, since we are not experiencing too much resistance, send one tank and try to take out as much of Scotland as you can. And we do have airbase, and we have sent the entire army over there. God, I hope they don't get sunk. Just hold on. Actually, uh, maybe I shouldn't have sent these guys over there. Because we will get attacked from the south. Come on, guys. get Oh, we lost two planes. That's kind of okay. Infantry, move on. Move on. Move up. It looks like the... Ooh. The infantry are getting here fairly quickly, as long as we can get there before any enemy uh, divisions arrive. Good. Okay. Oh, we actually made it. Jesus Christ. That's actually pretty good. I can't believe this actually went very well. Nice. Destroyer's done. Good. Convoy, as well as two. Two American heavy cruisers. The USS Indianapolis and the USS San Francisco. Awesome. We didn't lose any... Any group, uh, just tell them to go ahead. Just take out Scotland as fast as you can. The infantry, the shang has capitulated. That's fine. Uh, please, like, disembrace yourselves. There you go. Okay, cool. Very good. Do that. Come on, infantry. God dang it. Get down and around. Don't lose that air place. The air base. Good. You're defending. You're defending. That's awesome. Good, the tanks are doing a great job in Scotland. I'm, I guess the Scots are just like, come on in. Knock, knock, come on in. Great. Uh, we keep losing planes against enemy convoys. That's fine. Uh, just hold for now. You don't really need to advance. This is more than enough for us to do right now. This is good. This is surprisingly going very well. Awesome, we've asserted our eastern claims, or reasserted our eastern claims. Uh, let's see, good. Ah, the USS Houston. Heavy cruiser sunk. Early destroyer sunk. This is actually pretty good for trying to destroy the American Navy this early on. Um, let's see. Oh, keep losing planes. Pretty much expected. And, you know what? Let's form the Reichskommissariat. Very good. Norwegian, Niederlande, Belgian, North Frankreich, Ostland, and Ukraine. Awesome. Surprised we didn't encounter any sort of British enemy fleets. Very odd, in my opinion. That's very, very weird. Go ahead and just get to up to Scap a Flow if you can. Your tanks, you're doing a great job. Infantry, you're doing a great job as well. Building this entire area up. We are losing planes like crazy, but that's okay for now. Add in 200 more fighters. Heavy fighters, that is. And make sure we have full control of the North Sea. And they are good to go. Good. Yes, I mean, we don't really need any more planes here, but they do have some enemy planes, and it's mostly just the convoys killing us. Awesome. Come here. You guys come here. And then the rest of you just get down here. Because then we'll just push south. All you need really is one full army here. 
in that area. That'll be good. And we will probably invade next the Soviet Union. Or maybe help out the Italians and the Spanish in North Africa. Wow, Vichy France, you're that's a really weird color. Purple? Very weird. Ah, Philippe Pitan. You'll be going you'll be down you will go down in history as a great French ally. He understood that if he didn't agree with us, you know, your country's gonna fail anyways. You might as well agree with us, right? It looks like the Japanese are really having a time with the Chinese. Oh baby, I would not want to be over there anymore. Awesome. Thanks. You done? You done good. Alright. If we do attack, it'd probably be something like this. Good. Very awesome. The English have that many ships, that many divisions. Not a ton of manpower, but maybe a little bit more than us, perhaps. A little bit, another division. It's fine. Destroyer, convoy. Yep, the convoy's good. Um, I'm trying to keep track of my time right now with uh, just looking at a clock, so. Not to have a repeat of yesterday. Hmm, yeah. 45. Yeah. I just gotta keep a time on how long I spent on this. Let's see. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, just they do a lot of damage. Here, you know what? That's oh. Huh. Oh, so you guys actually got hit somehow. You can probably go retreat. Do any screens need to retreat? No, just a heavy cruiser. Hopefully it doesn't get bombed to hell. Alright, let's see. How are we gonna do this, guys? Ooh, naval strike torpedo tactics. Awesome. It is 1941. Fuel. We have a 300% bonus? Holy crap, that's from coal liquidization part of the focus tree. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that on fuel refining, just because usually these take like 200 days, while the rest of these take like 100, about maybe a little more than half of the time for this, this normal one. But 58 days for that, pretty darn awesome. And upgrades, That's this one's halfway done, that's fine. Oh, did we win? Yeah, yeah, we sunk an enemy convoy. Great, what are my, our losses? A quarter million right now. Uh, the Free American Empire will capitulate, unfortunately. The Italians have lost quite a few. Uh, the Netherlands has lost quite a few. The Belgians have lost quite a few. The Dutch East Indies have lost a lot, as well as the Swiss. The UK definitely. The French. The United States has lost some. Where's the French? Where's. Free France. Okay. I'm blind. Yes. Whatever. Awesome. Uh, you guys, just go ahead and. It's only a level 1 fort, so that's not too bad. I trust you guys, so maybe give them a little bit of an extra bonus. Uh, do we have air superiority? No, we do not. Uh, let's see. Maybe send in a couple more... Oh, we don't have any extra naval uh, fighters. Naval bombers, though? Hmm. It's fine. I think we'll do okay anyways. Should, at least. Destroyer gone. Good. 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 Oh, that's not good. Destroyer gone. Good. Good. <clears throat> All right. Oh, well, if you want to move over that way, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I know. Infantry isn't great to attack right now. I was going to eventually just add in some artillery for all of our infantry divisions, but not at the current moment. Fire Brigade, better organization. Awesome. And then backhand blow. Very cool. Oh, we're getting kind of grinded down ourselves. That's not good. Hmm. But we can push out this way. Kind of a distraction against these guys. That's actually not too bad. Send half of you guys this way as well. Send these tanks to stop. So that they kind of repair themselves a little bit. Send half of you down here. Keep them a little distracted. These tanks are definitely getting damaged as we refit the other tank divisions that were in the middle of the battle. Uh, all you guys come over here. Nice. That's another full stack. And at this point, we really don't need a bunch more infantry. I'll, I'll still keep making six at a time. But other than that, I think we'll be okay. Uh, another Marine Division. Let's go ahead and just chuck them on here. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, let's see, actually. I did have a set of planes around here. There they are. 200 bombers doing the North Sea. Well, we don't need that as much as... Northern England. What's this? Ah, American destroyer. Very good. Since we already have so much political power, execute Case Anton 
I can annex Vichy France in seven days and seize the French fleet. Huh. Integration. Huh. So. Huh. France will be able to scutter their fleet unless German troops are in, are in Toulon in two days. Toulon? Where's Toulon? Want to, oh. At most, zero divisions in all these different areas? What the heck? I can annex them? Uh. Integration to the German Reich. Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to do that now, but if you want me to do this, let me know. Oh, we lost a plane against the big old uh, UK fleet. This is a fleet I was worried about. But if you want me to execute Case Anton, please let me know. Paramilitary training in Vichy, France. How much political power do we get a day? 1.75. Uh, let's currently make sure that, let's say Greece becomes more and more fascist. We get more daily army XP, so that's good. Good. We went down here. The other tanks are not doing super great. Let's keep pushing down. Keep pushing, just keep pushing. They're trying to attack, so it's a good time for us to attack from a couple directions. Ooh, what is this? So, nothing happened. Okay. Well, so much for excitement. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, there you go. Add yourself onto there. Liverpool, eh? Oh, okay. You don't need Liverpool. You didn't need it. Thank you very much, Liverpool. The Beatles will never be formed. Or at least the Beatles that we know currently. Um, early destroyer hole. Awesome. Two destroyers. Lost a plane. And three enemy destroyers are gone. Delightful. Go ahead and... Th that tank division just needs to take a rest. Ooh. Heinz, you're running your guys crazy. Do they have forts up here or something? It must be like a hills area. Ah, it's, oh, it's a mountain. Yeah, well, that would do it. Mountains. Mountains suck to fight through. Amen. Uh, send all but one to attack this division. Can you send three infantry divisions this way? Perhaps? Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, three divisions here. Kind of three divisions. Go ahead and attack that way. I'm going to use my infantry maybe quite a bit more at this point. Uh, anything else? Four destroyers in exchange for four planes, and they also lost a convoy. Four more destroyers? That's great. I'm sorry, Free American Empire. There's literally nothing I can do to help you out. I mean, you're all across the entire ocean. I could go from either side, and I still wouldn't be able to reach you. I could go from the Pacific, which I have no bases, but regardless, still. Looks like the Spanish are doing something. They're getting all crazy here. Don't lose your guys, okay, guys? That's a lot of men if you lose all these people. And yes, I know you want to help out the Americans, the good Americans, but something tells me it's not going to happen. Oh, my gosh. Our allies decided to end up in... <laughs> oh, man. They ended up in New England. What was this? Rhode Island and Connecticut area, Massachusetts. Oh, God. My goodness. Desperately trying to break those guys down. Uh, Manchester is probably the next one, but I really need my tanks to uh, be in a better position than they currently are. Then we'll attack Manchester. How close is the UK to capitulating? They are about a third. Not bad. Hmm. Hmm. Awesome pump. What was it? Panzer Wehr and Panzerkampf Wagen Wehr. 1941. Artillery. Ooh, actually, better artillery would help everyone because everyone has support artillery on their units. How many tank divisions or tank units do we need? It's quite a bit. Still quite a bit. And here, tanks are on medium. Medium pri uh, equipment priority. The Free American, unfortunately, Empire has unfortunately capitulated. That's not very great. Manchester. Good. Oh, these guys are melting. Holy crap. Slowly melting, but melting regardless. That's unfortunate. Now, our allies are stuck here. Hopefully not having the convoys raided too hard, but... Just keep draining the United States of resources, guys. But you're still 20% fascist. 20% fascist, even though you just had a civil war. You know what? Let's keep boosting party popularity. Maybe we could have another fascist coup happen. Let's see what happens. Screw it. Five destroyers? Whoa, we lost three planes in exchange for four ships. A heavy cruiser and three more destroyers. A Mexican convoy. A <clears throat> Ten planes and for a carrier. 
and four destroyers and three convoys. Four destroyers, uh, shot down a plane, shot down three planes, shot down three more planes, and then shot down two more planes. Are you guys okay? Um, I just can't afford to lose you, especially when we have to invade the United States later on. Uh, I don't really want you to heal. You guys are pretty good. good you're good at regardless. Um, guys, you can come on down here. Just in case for the infantry, uh, I'm going to actually move you guys down here. That will make it maybe a little bit easier for us to manage. Tanks are definitely looking better. Glad to see that. Uh, send in a few of these infantry guys. <clears throat> Help out. Actually, that's a lot of guys. Go ahead and stop. That's fine, yeah. Don't worry about it. Hmm. How shall we continue invading the UK? Three more planes done. And destined. Oh, we are beginning to have Marines. Awesome. Uh, unfortunately, since we've already invaded the UK, don't really need need them at the moment. Hmm. Coffee's great. Let's see. Cool. We still have some time left. Uh, Wilhelm Lewis would be fine. Marines. Marines, Marines. Put them over here. Oh, from the Reichskommissariats. Great. And we got better fuel refining. Atlantic Wall. Honestly, I don't think we really need to do the Atlantic Wall since we have already invaded the UK. I think we'll be okay for now. Hmm. Gotta love water. Panzer Kampagen. Let's do Army Innovations too. Mostly because I still need to finish up my land doctrine. That'll be fine with me. Very good. Very good. Delightful. Could we invade southern England since it looks like they have most of their army up there? I have some marines. Two divisions of marines, actually. And you know what? Let's put you down here instead. Put you back here. You will invade from deep to Dover. And then I want you all to come over here. Can we send one, two, three from here to here and one two three from let's say here to there and send one other one two to make sure that we don't over extend ourselves because we can only send in 10 divisions at a time in the water that's good fuel refining is done let's get some better max factories in estates we have some free dockyards uh, let's see. You know what? I could really use better destroyers, but I'll wait until we get 1940s everything here, pretty much. Um, um, but destroyers are always good to make, just in case. Light cruisers as well. You know what? If anything tells me this, this is what I'm thinking. It's always easy to upgrade both light cruisers and destroyers, but anything bigger than a light cruiser, or anything heavier than a light cruiser, takes way too much time to upgrade and repair. Now, I will upgrade some of my current ships later on, but for now, if I want to upgrade my stuff, I'll just use, get more destroyers. But, I'm going to begin making a better patrol fleet. I'll actually make a patrol fleet. So, we'll put you in Schleswig-Holstein. Very good. Ah, carriers... Uh, destroyed. Awesome. Good jo great job, guys. For you, you know what? Stop doing what you're doing right now. Uh, hold on. Well, actually. Stop that. Go home. Prepare. I'm gonna need you guys to, uh, help cover the English Channel. Great. Great, great, great. Send you guys in. Send you guys in. With an extra infantry division there. Good. Should be able to melt them. Eh, maybe not melt, but eventually win and beat them up. Beat them up. So we can do Reichskommissariats for two of these. And I will invade Denmark later, as well as other areas. But, improve worker conditions. Well, we'll improve worker conditions when we get up there. Actually, we're actually doing very well with a lot of stuff. Um, I just need more resources to really build more stuff. Uh, however, I will build a crap ton of dockyards, as well as refineries. Poland, you will be the greatest oil field known to man. Also, yeah, that's good. We're making sure that we're, we have more than enough radar when we invade the Soviet Union. Oh, and Brittany should always get some radar. It's so strategic. You have 
it's basically a peninsula that can understand where enemies are around this entire area. Just it's very important in my opinion to have radar around Brittany. Go that way, send half of you this way, send this tank over here as well, and three divisions. Alright, how are our ships? Are you all repaired yet? You're still refitting? How much more do Man, you take forever to refit, actually. We actually should increase this. And before we tell you where to repair... Yeah, not there. Uh, Stetten would be okay. Kurselin is too small. Danzig, Holland, Liebwarden. Don't do that. Rotterdam's okay. Ghent? Eh. Deepa? Cherbourg? Le Havre? <clears throat> Bress is okay. Lorient, Brittany, La Rochelle, Bordeaux. I don't want anything over there. Maybe except for Newcastle. That'd be okay. Um, Liverpool? For right now, no. That's okay with me. Yeah. That'll definitely help our repairs better. Oh, and we can make better medium tanks. My bad. Alright, there we go. Did I miss something? No, not too much. No, no, no. Saving, 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 saving. Alright. Did you guys all repair yet? No, but you're getting there. Strength. Well, we gotta wait for these guys to get more strength first. Ah, and encryption. Very good. I'm doing that. We could get better radar. <clears throat> that would be nice, but we don't exactly have to have it right now. We're doing that. We need better naval stuff. Oh, we definitely need to work on our naval doctrine. Yes, things that could help our battleships. Yes, please. Alright, let's concentrate our tanks maybe a little bit better here. Before we attack again. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do want to take that area out. Sheffield, you are next. You are the next contestant on who are we going to attack in the UK? Great. Go and attack them. Surprise them. Keep draining them of resources. That's good, that's good, that's very good. Lost a plane, but we did sink a battleship. Great. Even though it's probably not that great. When I go to war with the Soviet Union, which is next, <clears throat> excuse me, I will upgrade my ships. That's the time when you want to upgrade. That is the time. Alright, wait for guys to heal up a little bit. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Yeah, you're kind of unorganized, but whatever. Go ahead and send you guys towards Hull. That'd be fine. Thanks. Before we're done here, we, we will invade the UK. Again. Let's see, you guys doing okay? Are you guys almost done repairing? 85? Yeah, you're almost... You're getting there. Definitely getting there. Go ahead. Why don't you do this? Naval invasion support. Turn this back on. Good. And... See, you guys are the ones who are invading. Go ahead. If you can, of course. And if you can't, that's okay. Oh! We sunk five destroyers, wow! <clears throat> Ships. Go ahead, yeah. Come on down here. This is a dangerous thing to do, but that's okay. That's why we're playing Germany. We like playing a little dangerously, right? breakthrough here that would be great and we've successfully invaded okay then that wasn't very hard great uh, send one division this way send one division to help attacks and two divisions to get over here and send you guys just to hold the line and we took some military factories away glorious get Portsmouth and then I'll send everyone else around here come on and since we're doing that I don't mind if you guys begin to slowly, slowly attack. Be careful about it, as well as you. Ooh. Very good. Awesome. A double UK invasion in a single episode. I've never done that before. Absolute mad lads. Uh, go ahead and take that piece. Good, you're doing a great job. Naval Invasion Support did a great job there. Really proud of them. Very, very proud of them, actually. 
And when you can go, you will go. Because right now, we're getting the crap bombed the heck out of us all over the place. Look at all these planes trying to blow us up. I'm surprised I haven't lost that many divisions. Heck, I haven't even lost a single division yet. What the heck is going on? I thought this would be a little more diffi uh, difficult. I mean, yeah, I'm losing planes. But, I mean, that's pretty much to be expected. Uh, actually, you need orders. Good. Good. Awesome. Still, just more planes we're shooting down, which is fine with me. And good. And we have... London. The fall of London. The British have capitulated. I can't believe I did it in this episode. On my first try. Now, we still have to invade this area, which is... Maybe we'll have enough time to do it now. Let's see. Invade from here. Go straight to Belfast. Send the tanks to help su help support you. Send one, two, three. Invade from Liverpool to here. And then one, two to invade from the same area, but over here. That'll be good. Wow, I can't believe we actually did that. I did that on my first try. Because I know sometimes it can be a little very, very difficult to do that. But whatever. We still did a great job. Uh, like I did before, I'm going to send you all of the way to the bottom. And just tell you to make a bunch of guns. Awesome. Now, can I do Reichskommissariat England or something? That'd be great. I think that'd be fun. Great job, guys. You deserve a definite pat on the back. Absolutely delightful. God, we got so many things here. Um, we're making a lot of convoys. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Just make some more light cruisers if you can. And you will also go to Schleswig-Holstein. We will end this episode very soon. We just got to make sure that everything else is okay. Just, yeah, we will have to guard all this, though. Which is fine. Go ahead and get ready to invade as well. Belfast really shouldn't be a problem and we will also invade Ireland and in, probably in the next episode we will invade the UK or, no, UK we already did that invade the USSR so at least I did make my goal of invading the UK by 1941 by the end of 1941 so I feel fairly successful go ahead turn this back on let the ships get over there great job guys great job you should all be commended for a great great time and please go uh yeah ignore that no I don't want you to repair god dang it god dang it I want to invade this part of Ireland Actually, you can go ahead and repair, though. Oh, Army Innovations 2. Molotov Ribbon Trop Pact. Improved National Spirit, actually. We get more political power, as well as ideology defense. You know what? Let's make it so we have the anti turn Pact first. And then we, then we can go immediately with war with the USSR. Oh, they still have Philippines, Japan declared war on the Philippines. All right, then. Didn't I tell you not to repair there? Wait, why are you guys all doing that? Oh, we invaded regardless. Okay, then. Okay. I'm okay with that, then. And Belfast is ours. Send you guys this way. And it looks like the Japanese decided to crazily go to war with all those other guys. The fall of Hong Kong. Great. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, Legendary Romania, which is weird because they're fascist. United Mexican States. Whatever. Send... These guys this way, and we will go ahead and justify on Ireland, because why not? Ah. Uh, London County Derriere. Sure, Japan, we'll have a non-aggression pact. Great, so that's where we're going to end this episode, guys. We did a great thing. We did a double invasion of the United Kingdom. It is August 1941. I have not done yet the invasion of the USSR, and obviously they did not give me back Mimel just yet. So... With that in mind, can I please get a like for invading the UK successfully, twice? Uh, like the video anyways. If you didn't like the video, subscribe and like the video. And I will see you tomorrow. And to the guy who's feeling sick, I hope you feel better. Thank you very much for watching.